Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cooper PD Opal. Today we're going to be looking at this gem and hopefully cutting a nice stone. But first, we're just going to see what angle we should cut it on, then we'll get straight into it. It has a thick colour bar, which means it's not all colour, it's just got a bar of it. But it's still okay, but we're just going to look at it and it's always good to examine your gem to see which way you should cut it and which way would be the best to cut it. Okay guys, it's always good to draw where you want to cut. So then you have a guideline to where you want to cut. We don't want to lose too much opal, so we're getting as big as we can. Now, let's get into cutting. You should always study a gem before you start cutting again because it, then you know what to do next and a smaller gem with more desirable colour is better than a big gem with less colour because then it's better to the eye and just it's much better. So you should always make a smaller gem with more desirable colour rather than a big one with less colour.
you everybody for watching and now let's have a good look at the gem. This is the gem we started with. Now you see it's really nice, but this is that was the process of opal polishing. Once you've finished with the polishing, it looks so much better. And now let's look at a different gem. This gem I also cut today. It has awesome colour red, which is the most rarest. And it's got a pan called rolling pan. It's where the colour rolls across the stone. And that's what makes it really cool. I love this pan. And this is a really good gem.